Here we're going to take a look at some of the different versions of AMBA, the Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture, to see how it's evolved over the years to meet the demands of processors and new technologies. AMBA was introduced by ARM in the late 1990s. The first AMBA buses were Advanced System Bus, ASB, and Advanced Peripheral Bus, APB. ASB has since been superseded by more recent protocols, and we'll see some of those in a moment while APB is still widely used today. APB is designed for low bandwidth control accessors, for example, register interfaces on system peripherals. This bus has a simple address and data phase and a low complexity signal list. In its second version, AMBA 2 in 1999, ARM added AMBA High Performance Bus, AHB, that's a single clock edge protocol a simple transaction on the AHB consists of an address phase and a subsequent data phase. Access to the device is controlled through a MUX, thereby admitting bus access to one bus master at a time. Furthermore, AHB features also larger bus widths in respect to APB. In 2003, ARM introduced the third generation AMBA 3, including Advanced Trace Bus, ATB, as part of the core site on-chip debug and trace solution. AHB Lite is a subset of AHB. This subset simplifies the design for a bus with a single master. And AXI, the third generation of AMBA interface defined in the AMBA 3 specification, is targeted at high performance, high clock frequency system designs and includes features that make it suitable for high speed sub-micrometer interconnect. In 2010, the AMBA 4 specifications were introduced starting with AMBA 4 AXI4 and then AMBA 4 ACE in 2011. ACE extends AXI with additional signalling, introducing system-wide coherency. This system-wide coherency allows multiple processors to share memory and enables technology like ARM's Big Little Processing. At the same time, the ACE Lite protocol enables one-way coherency. For example, a network interface that can read from the caches of a fully coherent ACE processor. The AXI4 stream protocol is designed for unidirectional data transfers from master to slave, known as point-to-point, -point, with reduced signal routing, which is ideal for implementation in FPGAs. In 2014, the AMBA5 CHI coherent hub interface specification was introduced with a redesigned high-speed transport layer and features designed to reduce congestion. There have been several additions to the CHI protocol, with each new version adding new features. In 2016, the AHB protocol was updated to AHB5 that complements the ARM VAM architecture to extend the Trust Zone Security Foundation from the processor to the system. In 2019, the AMBA ATP Adaptive Traffic Profiles were introduced. ATP complements the existing AMBA protocols and is used for modelling systems masters and slaves high-level memory access behaviour in a concise, simple and portable way.